All right. Uh, so, shall I introduce you to me? me? Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for coming, and yeah, I'm happy to have you guys here. I'm excited. So, I'd like to really showcase a uh, recent robot and project that oh, I've spent a lot so of nice. time on. Um, this is a robotic RC Bluetooth forklift. Um, so I have a little Bluetooth app on my phone um, and I can pull up a controller on it and I can control this little forklift. <laughs> now it moves around and all that and that's great. Um, but the part that I've been spending the most time, even more than all the Bluetooth and the wireless and the motors, is this little forklift on the front. If I press this button, you'll see it move up very slightly. But I can show you this lifting a little something. I can take this object. Ah, oh, no, it's too heavy. Oh, there we go. There it goes. It pulled it up. That's a great example of how obviously it takes, I'm sure it took you a lot of iterations to get to this point. So many. Here is the box of all the previous <laughs> prototypes I went through. Oh, so wow. this was one of the first, I think this was, or no, this was second, this was first, then many iterations after that. So it's just gradual expansion um, of the system and I can just add one more feature, one more feature, and each time print a prototype, test it, make revisions, keep going. And just uh, through that iterative process, I uh, can finally wind up with this. Can you tell me the story how you came to find that inspired? Yeah. So um, I had kind of briefly been introduced to 3D printing um, just a few months earlier. And uh, I'd kind of been starting to get into game design and 3D modeling. Um, but I was really struggling to like take the step and like really learn it for myself. Um, my dad had heard through from a friend whose kid had been to Mac Inspires, and so we had just heard from other people that hey, they offer 3D printing. When I was a student at Mac Inspires, is that you put me onto a lot of sources, um, Adafruit, Make Magazine, and all these uh, other places that uh, coagulate. Um, uh, maker stuff and kind of share it with the world. Um, this is my biggest hobby is just making things um, and it's part of my everyday life and it's introduced me to so many people um, and given me so many opportunities that honestly I otherwise probably wouldn't have had. Um, and so in many ways it's continuing to impact my life as you know I'm soon to go off to engineering school. Um, and sometimes I wonder if I'd be going into engineering had I not um, started building things and just making and experimenting at such a young age. Right. Yeah. So in this corner of my lab, um, we have kind of the manufacturing center and the machines that make almost all of my projects possible, um, the 3D printers. Yeah. Um, now you were one of the first to introduce me to 3D printers. Shortly after uh, learning how to use them, I acquired one of my own. Mm -hmm. um, a few years later, I won a competition in which I won this machine down here. Um, and then a few years after that, due to my growing online presence and my YouTube channel, I got this one as a product review sample. Wow. Um, and so now I've gotten three 3D printers, which I work, use to make all of, so of my bot, an maker, and projects. This is a Creality. Creality, that's what I thought. Yeah. Um, so if you want to see my own work and learn more about all the strange and moving and colorful objects that you've seen throughout this video, um, you can find me basically anywhere online under the name XYZ Aiden, um, and we'll have links to my YouTube, Instagram, and all my other sources um, somewhere around here. <laughs>